It's already been a busy and eventful 100 days of this legislative session. I sat down with Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist to learn more about how he feels about these first few months. I, I'm most proud of the productivity, honestly. This second term for the governor and lieutenant governor is fundamentally different for the first time in nearly 40 years they're operating with a razor slim Democratic majority. I am glad to be working in this context. And I but he says it comes down to communication. The level of communication that we've had between the legislative caucuses this time has really been uh, transformational. You see communication begets collaboration and collaboration begets change. Productivity seems to be the theme for the executive branch duo. Whitmer touted the amount of things they've been able to get done in the second term. 100 days into my second term with a productive majority in Lansing, we have gotten a heck of a lot done. Here's a look at what the Whitmer and Gilchrist administration have been able to accomplish. They've repealed the retirement tax, expanded the Working Families Tax Credit, expanded the Elliott Larson Civil Rights Act, and repealed the 1931 abortion ban. And just this week, passed gun reform legislation exactly two months after the shooting at MSU. But all of this legislation, all this productivity, what it means is that we are demonstrating to people that Michigan is a place for you, a place for you today and in the future to grow. Some of his Republican colleagues have voiced frustration with the way that legislation has been passed, some without a full hearing or full debate. But Gilchrist tells me he remains open to working across the aisle. Now, Gilchrist tells me next on the agenda is the state budget, where he expects to invest another historic amount of money in public education. For the last time, I'm your senior political reporter, El Myers, Fox 47 News.